Good morning. What is up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we have a short video on how to remove a radiator support. Uh, so essentially, you're going to be drilling spot welds in this case. I know they make other tools, but I have a drill, so I'm going to be drilling these out. So as you can see, there's two spot welds here. There's another two here. There's one here. And then there's a bunch that go along right here. And I already have it somewhat out. You guys can't really see it, but they're all drilled out. Because I had a spare car. Normally, I would just buy one off of eBay. Uh, but in this case, I have one. So I'll do the hard labor to take it out. And uh, that will be my price. My price is actually putting in the labor to take out an old one. And put it on the uh, the project scoop. So if you guys haven't been on my um, my Instagram, which is BuiltJ. Then you guys don't know that I have a black coupe that we just picked up. We're going to be doing some work to it. I had no front end. But it's a nice solid setup. It's flat black. The last person that had it just spray painted. You, you could tell they used a rattle can. And um, yeah, so I'm taking this radiator support off. And we're going to throw it on there. And we're going to end up doing a bunch of stuff to the car. So hopefully uh, we can get a bunch of content on that. And it is an EX Coupe, so this is going to be perfect. It's a 96 to 98, same platform. Uh, so what we'll do is once we drill out all these spot welds, so you can see there's a spot weld there, spot weld, spot weld. There's spot welds all over the place. Uh, there's a couple in here, two or three, and then there's a bunch along here. And as I said before, so where you see those little dimples, those are spot welds. Uh, you don't have to remove every last one of them but a lot of them are essential uh, so you can see it's not a pretty process but when you tack weld it in you kind of fill these holes as best as you can this one kind of got chewed up um, I'm gonna try my best to reinforce this and kind of make it look OEM but it's kind of gone but it is what it is uh, we're using this car with uh, little money not little money but trying to stay on budget if we have the parts, we're not going to go out to the junkyard and spend the time to go grab the parts and the money to buy the parts. So if I have it on this coupe here, which is a, it's an EX coupe, it's been torn apart. So the little bit of parts that I have left, I'm going to be taking and throwing on the EX coupe, uh, which is going to be a fun little project. It's also a single cam as well, uh, but don't hate on the single cams. They do push some power if you have the right setup. But with that said, we're going to jump right into this and we are going to go ahead and drill out all these holes, these spot welds, and um, and then I'll show you exactly what it looks once you remove it. Okay, you guys are probably wondering what type of tools you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need a drill, whether it's connected to some electrical connection or battery powered. Just have a good drill that's going to continuously uh, go ahead and put power through that drill. Uh, because it's going to be drilling through sheets of metal with that said you'll probably also need some pv blaster or like cutting fluid so before i go ahead and i start to drill as you can see here there's holes all over the place so as i'm drilling i'll go ahead and i'll squirt a little bit of a pv blaster on the area that i'm drilling because the drills do get hot and then they tend to snap or or just bad things happen. So when there's too much heat on the drill bit and the metal, they tend to tend to break and do some crazy stuff. So normally I'll just drill it and then I'll go ahead and I'll ream it out. This is a reamer. So this is just gonna make the initial hole that was drilled with the drill bit. It's gonna go ahead and widen it uh, depending on how deep you go. So you guys are probably wondering how I drilled this out. So normally I start with a pilot bit. And what a pilot bit is, it's normally just a smaller size. Uh, so as you can see over here, these are a lot smaller sizes. So I'll start with a smaller size. Not too small because they do tend to break. So these are all really, really small. So I'll probably start with maybe a 3 16 or a uh, 13th 64th drill bit. Not too, not too small, not too big. Either that one or this one here, which is a 316th. So you got 316th and you got 1364th. 
you can start off with a smaller one that's nice and then I worked my way up to a, a 5 16 and if it was still holding on to both metals that at that point I would go ahead and I switch over to the reamer and I would just widen up the hole this is a 3 4 anchor for a reamer so it's a quite the uh, size it's the bigger on the bigger size but they do make the quarter and the half inch as well um, but with that said that's essentially how you're going to go ahead and drill it you'll start with smaller ones so i started with a 3 16 and then i started to just go ahead and make these holes all the way through and i started and that was kind of my test run and then i went up a notch with the with the drill bit to a quarter inch so obviously you can see i haven't started over here so essentially what I'll do is I'll start with the smaller drill bit, drill out all these holes that I need to drill out, and then I will go ahead and I'll switch over to the bigger one. And if the bigger um, drill bit does not work, then I'll go ahead and I'll use the reamer to ream it out just a tad bit more so I can release the radiator support. And along with that, you probably want a little pry bar if you can get that in there because sometimes you can just stick that between the seams and then you hit it with a hammer and it does break loose so you don't really have to drill too much but if you hit it a couple times and it doesn't break loose then go ahead and use the reamer which is this guy here and that'll drill it out just enough for you to go ahead and break the the two pieces of metal loose starting with three sixteenths Five sixteenths. Reamer. Okay, so it's almost out. As you can see, it's moving just a little bit, so. Okay, so now that you've reamed them out, as you can see, they've completely disconnected. I think I gotta go a little bit more at the bottom, but I'm gonna use my pry bar first, see if I can break it loose. If I can't, then I'll hit it again with the reamer. So let's do that now. Okay, she has completely come loose. I did have to remount the bottom one a little bit, plus there was a little tack weld right here that I didn't notice, so I had to bang that out a little bit so as you can see it's all torn apart you can see it's completely loose so now which i should have done prior to this uh prior to removal of the radiator support of course you want to remove the radiator the condenser and all these other components headlights things of that nature you want to remove all of that uh, but along with that, you want to remove the wire harness, so you have to unclip these, which is, you just pinch these in with needle nose pliers, and they'll pop out uh, the same, as you can see it goes along here. So go ahead and take that out, take out your AC line, if you do have an AC line, uh, unfortunately if you do have Freon, you're going to have to remove the Freon, but you can disconnect it here along this line and then that way you can go ahead and move the radiator support out as you prefer but you'll have to take out these radiators or at least crack them loose so they're out of the way so they're both loose so i'll be able to do that so i'm going to disconnect the harness and then i will show you how it looks removed all right yeah she is pretty much out as you can see it's still held on by the harness here and the only way to really disconnect it is, like I said, go ahead and remove these little clips that you have all along. So once you do that, you have a 10 millimeter ground for your headlight harness. So remove that 10 millimeter ground and then you'll be able to, to snake this harness out of the radiator support, which I'll go ahead and I'll do now. So once you take out that 10 millimeter, that'll release the radiator support and then you'll be good to go. All right, guys, and she is out completely. Like I said, just disconnect that 10 millimeter and you got your wire harness over here. Um, if you do 
which most people don't but if you do have your ac setup still here uh don't forget to disconnect this i forgot to disconnect it and it was clipped on so essentially it just clips in and you just want to remove this clip outwards see if i can get it yep just move this towards that way outwards and this should pop right up and you'll be able to to remove it but with that said i have my used radiator support and now i gotta weld it back in my uh project ek coupe so uh, essentially when you do drill it out you do cause some damage like i said but if you have like a harbor freight welder or a lincoln welder or any type of welder for that matter you're going to be welding these spots in anyways so instead of them being solid they'll just have nice tack welds on the middle and you could fill them in if you'd like but as long as they're tack welded they should be fine and you should be good to go so that is essentially how you remove the radiator support and these are all the holes that i drilled you can see here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen about fifteen holes over here sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so about twenty on each side roughly you may drill out some spot welds that don't need to be drilled out but i figure that out in the end so just uh keep that in mind because you see they do have uh spot welds as you can see like this one this one has a double spot weld there's one right here this one doesn't need to be removed essentially this little spot weld here is for this bracket on the bottom half so that's what keeps that together in a sense i would assume um but essentially she's all one piece it was free of charge and i had it in my backyard so this is what i'm going to use for the project we'll go ahead and we'll weld that on and uh we'll call it a day so if you found this video helpful like comment and subscribe as always don't forget and thanks for tuning in and have a great day guys <laughs> just the beginning papa it's just the beginning